So from the title of this video, you might think, what on earth is this guy talking about? But in this video, I'm gonna cover exactly why focusing on increasing your perceived value in business is a really bad idea. And by the way, as you're watching this, if you get something out of it, please hit like. If you have a perspective to share, whether you agree or disagree, I'd love to hear it. Please comment below. And if you like videos like this, please hit subscribe and the notification bell to get an alert every time I do a new video, which is three times per week at the moment. All right, so here's exactly why increasing your perceived value is a bad idea. Now, if you think of it, what is it that we're putting our focus on when we are talking about perceived value? Now, perceived value is what do people, your customers, what does somebody think the value of your product is? And now if you compare perceived value to the actual value and communicating the actual value of your product or service, it's a very big difference. And here's why. Because perceived value is a construct not based on, or maybe loosely based on, but not directly linked to the actual value. But if you're communicating the value, the actual value, then you are focusing and putting your attention into what the actual value is, right? There's no extra step in that process. You're literally translating and communicating effectively what the actual value is. And here's why this is so important. Perceived value is coming from a focal point and a mindset of how can I get someone to see this in the way that I want them to see it? And that's based on manipulation. That's based on us creating a construct, often elaborated, often you know, exaggerated, and often you know, blown up to, to overhype or overpromise uh, our product or service, but it's based on us creating a construct and showing it not necessarily the way that it is. And it's also taking us away from the, the most important thing, which is how valuable is our product and service to the people we're trying to help. And if the product is incredibly valuable, we don't need to increase the perceived value, we just need to accurately communicate the value. Now, don't get me wrong, obviously the direct result of accurately communicating the actual value in the way that it actually helps someone, the result of that is normally, it's gonna be the, the, the customer's perceived value, so the value that they see in your product is going to increase. But that's not where you're putting your focus. You're putting your focus into actually delivering value and actually communicating that value. And the end result to that customer from actually purchasing your product or service and using your product and service, the end result is they are far more likely to actually have the positive impact that you've been communicating in the first place. Perceived value is creating a big disconnect in that you're not necessarily communicating the actual value of the product and you're, you're wording everything in your messaging based on a construct of the value and the customer then is um, not necessarily getting the exact value of the product because they bought the product based on a construct of the value that we created to get them to make the purchase, not to get them to receive value, right? Very different focus. And especially if we're starting in business, maybe we haven't started yet or we're brand new in business, it is super duper important to get this right from the word go. Because the longer that we build a business based on a foundation of manipulation and a foundation of not actually focusing on the value of our products and services, then the longer it's gonna take for us to undo all of that and actually build a business on the correct foundations of inspiration. Okay, so it's all about putting your focus in the right areas because where focus goes, energy flows. So we focus on the value, we build our business based on the value and then we get really good at communicating the actual value. What we're then gonna end up building is a long-term customer base of extremely happy, extremely loyal customers who actually really get something out of using our products and services and will keep coming back for more and recommending their friends and family and so on and so forth. Right, really important to make sure we distinguish that from the word go. 
So if you have got something out of this video, a little bit of a shorter one than normal, but I wanted to keep it punchy, direct, and to the point, I hope it was beneficial. Please hit like if you enjoyed it or got something. If you have anything to share, I would love to hear from it, so please comment, sorry, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, so please comment below with anything that you uh, agree with, disagree with, or anything to add. And also, if you would like to get more videos like this every single week, then hit subscribe, you'll see that in the bottom corner right now. Hit the notification bell, you'll get a reminder, and I would love to see you again in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.